Hi, Kim here with Art Classes for Kids, and I'm here with Lily. Hi! And Lily and I are going to be teaching you a drawing, and this is part of our series that we call I Can, Can Draw, Draw That. That. And what it is is simple, uh, you know, instructions. All you need are a Sharpie, white, white paper, paper, and, and colored pencils. pencils. So today's project Lily chose, and what is today's uh, drawing project? Today's project is the Takashi Murakami flower. Takashi Murakami is a Japanese artist. He came from Japan. Japan. And he makes these types of art that are like... It's like pop art. It's really yeah. popular right now. And it's very bright and colorful and wacky. Colors. And he does these flowers a lot. And, and they, they have make smiling faces. faces. And they have all different colored petals a lot of times. So we're going to teach you how to draw that. And just in case you've seen any of our other videos, you might have seen the Murakami flower sculpture that we made out of cardboard. If you haven't, check it out because if you like this, you'll love that. So now, are you ready to get started? Yeah. Anything else we should say? Oh, and also, you can pause this video anytime if you need to catch up with us if we're going too fast for you. So let's get started. Now when I first start, I have to figure out where, uh, how big and where am I going to place the first mark. The first mark is going to be the circle, the center of the flower, the face. I want it to be right in the middle of my paper, so I'm going to start here. I don't want it any bigger than this, so one way to measure is to say, ah, i got to be able to fit a half a circle to each side if I had to. And if you come across it, don't worry about it. Okay, so next we're going to draw the mouth. Mouth. The mouth is open and smiling. You're gonna start inside the circle, really close to the side, and make a flat rainbow curve and stop about the same distance away that you did when you started. Now, for the bottom to close up the mouth, you're going to follow the shape of the circle. Keep going and connect it. Nice. Next, we're going to do the eyes. Eyes. The eyes are two ovals, and they're going to be right above the mouth. They're a little bit tilted in, and they don't touch the top of the circle or the top of the mouth. Or each other. Oh, or each other, that's a good one. Don't touch. Now, um, the Murakami flowers, they don't have any pupils, they just have Two highlights. Okay, so the highlights, the top one is a long oval and the bottom one is a round circle. Long oval, bottom circle. So you do that in both. You draw that oval and then you draw that circle. Now, the space in between the two highlights, I'm gonna fill in black. Fill it in. And now it's time for the petals. The petals, for the petals, what we're going to do is we are going to draw all the lines that lead out to the end of the petals. It's going to look a little bit like a sunburst. We're going to start at the top with two lines that look like antennas. Antennas! They're slightly angled out, but just slight. And they also need to be the length that is maybe half of the length of the face. So if the face is this big and I go to the middle, I just lock my fingers in place and then go like this and go, is that the same length? This one could be a little longer. Sometimes they measure with a finger. Just depends. You can measure with your pen go, oh, it's the same length as the cap. It is? That's, yeah. So you can just oh, take wow. this and go, oh, that's how long it should be. Okay. So just find something to measure with that's handy. Yes. And next, what we're going to do is the same thing but to the bottom. Okay. I'm going to measure with my cap. You're going to measure with your cap again? Okay, awesome. Now make sure that they are spread apart just as much as the ones on top. Now we're going to do the same thing, but to the sides. So you can either... They're like little arms. Yeah, they're like two little arms, but make sure that they're the same distance apart from here is here. So I'm going to go there and there. And then over here, see it's that size, the bullet. And then I'm going to go that's that far apart. These are going to be about that far apart. Now I'm going to draw them. Okay, so now we have eight little lines, but we need four more. We're gonna put one between the top ones and the side ones. I'm gonna fit one in there. And now we're gonna put one between the side ones and the bottom ones. Now between the bottom and the side lines. 
and between the side and the top lines. Okay, so here we go. We've got 12 lines. And now we're gonna connect them with a rainbow curve. Rainbow curve. Kind of like what we did for the belt. Yeah. So what you can do is you can just go around and keep rainbow curving it, or if it's easier for you, you can just turn your paper. If you want to turn your paper like that, some people it's easier to do it that way. Some people can do it straight up. Alrighty, looking good. So now we're going to color it in. You can color it in any way you want, but one thing that he does a lot of times is alternate colors. So what colors do you think you'll pick? Um, I think I'll pick like mostly the bright colors. Okay, do you, how many colors do you want to use? Maybe one for each petal. So you want kind of a rainbow effect? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go for an alternating color effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick two awesome colors. I'm going to pick red and I'm going to pick... Oh, I like that. Pick any color. This red. Oh, this I red. like this. Red. Uh, I'm going to pick... Oops. I'm going to pick purple. I'm not thinking of doing the rainbow. Red, so what red, I'm going to do yellow. is I'm going to start coloring in every red. other petal. I almost have all my petals colored in. Okay, after my petals, I'm gonna go ahead to the next step. Which is your face. Which is my face. I'm going to give my face a traditional color, which is gonna be kind of a yellow orange. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna fill it in. And inside the mouth, I think I'll go with pink, okay. Wow, I love your rainbow look. Okay. I like it too. Now I'm gonna my highlights can stay white or I can my give them a color. Is, I think my face is gonna be the opposite of yours. The pink on the outside and the yellow on the mouth. I'm gonna put a little color in my highlights. Ta da! Ta -da! <laughs> so this is how our drawings came out. And remember, when you do this on your own, you can make it any size, any color. Whatever you like, you make it your own. We would love to see how yours turns out. Yeah. So, go ahead and snap a photo and post it on Instagram. Tag it with Art Classes for Kids. And oh. also, like, subscribe, and click that notification button down below for more cool art. And, well, hopefully we'll see you soon next time. Keep making cool, cool art. art.